first of all, thank you all for coming to my pre presentation. So my focus of my uh, global action plan is mental health of Chinese high school students. Okay, so I decided to address this issue because this have a really close personal connection with myself. Uh, from early childhood, I have I have the fortune of being blessed by my parents who value various aspects of education and, all, and who also recognize the necessity of mental health. So therefore, I was sent abroad to study. As I originally come from China, I really recognize the, psycho, the psychological effect from a stressful environment. My culture is a highly competitive, competitive and it and extremely pressure are placed on students to succeed. Knowing from my cousins and friends who are currently studying in China, they say it's common for Chinese students to be six, to be in class 13 hours a day, six days a week, and for 11 months a year with the other days who dedicate to the additional course and the tutoring classes. I noticed the issue from a long time ago, but I didn't do anything for that until I heard one of my close friend's story. Uh, she is one year older than me, and like uh, one day I just heard from my mother, she attempted, to su uh, she attempted suicide because of the overwhelming pressure from the school. She ate the whole bottle of the sleeping pills. But luckily, she saved back by her parents. But I realized not, uh, many, not all the students who attempted suicide are being saved back. So I did some re research and decided to do something for them. So first, I want to find out what's the real cause of this pressure. So I have some key days and the data which will explain to you where the pressure comes from. First, the June 7th to 9th. That's the date for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But this is also extremely important three days for several million students in China because that's our um, annual academic exam examination taking place. And the result of this examination, it will be the only criteria for entering post-secondary education. So which means your uh, skills and knowledge from the past 12 years will be examined in these three days. And the data from this year, there will be 9.4 million students participate in this exam. So you can imagine how stressful and competitive this exam will be. If you don't know how large this number is, this is a quarter of total population in Canada. So um, the China from, according to the data from China Daily, there will be 75% of students enrolling into post-secondary uh, education, but which means still a quarter of students, they won't get anything like from they won't get any offers from uh, university or college. And they will need to either uh, to re-study for one year and prepare for the next year's examination, or they will just enter the work market as a low-paying workers. So where does this pressure come from? I already introduced briefly the pressure come from the schools because the exam can be only taken once a year, but also from the teachers because they, were, they will be uh, awarded bonus if the, their students per, uh, per, per, they are doing well on the exam. And also because the content involved there, there will be eight subjects and uh, it's about like the past 12 years study, so there will be lots of information you need to memorize. But also this pressure also comes from the families. So many students come from the rural area to the major city for seeking a better education. So, so they won't have their families being around with them to giving them support. And also because of the Chinese one-child policy, they don't have siblings to talk with if they have difficulty in life. And also from this cartoon shows here, 
The only child will bear the responsibility to take care of the six elders, and sh and the person, the child will be the only hope of this family. So you can, you will know like how much pressure for them to be succeed in order to take care for the family. So, <clears throat> in order to pass the tough three years of high school studying, you need not. You need the strength from mentally and also uh, physically. So according to the WHO's data, China has a very high rate of suiciding. Uh, like there are 22.2 people uh, per 100,000 people are committing suicide in China each year. If it doesn't sound that that much, if like but like when you multiply with uh, the largest population in the world, so there will be two hundred eighty-five thousand people committing suicide in China each year, and twenty-six percent, twenty-six point six four percent of these people are teenage adolescents in age between fifteen to twenty-four. So survey shows. 6% to 10% of teenagers are attempting to commit suicide in their life. So you can know the pressure really caused the, the like a huge mental issue for the Chinese teenagers. So the suicide is the top cause of the death among the Chinese youth. So China right, right now is undergoing a educational reform. This year is the first year uh, for the Chinese government to, to practice the new policy for the, uh, the examination, so they can they can try they can do the examination for some subjects twice a year, and also some of the, uh, the some of the province they will have the uh, examination taken in different dates, so to make the the students feel less stressful. So as the Chinese government and people realize this, the severity of this issue and also the importance of mental health, so I think that will be help me with my uh, global action plan and to achieving my goals. So here are my short-term goals and the long-term goals. So for the short-term goals, um, I was trying to raise awareness of mental health in the group of student, Chinese students, faculty, and parents. And I want to teach the high school students to learn the effective method of releasing stress. And also for the teachers to like, introduce them the ways of to prevent the teenagers' suicide and also how the effective communication with the, the, their students. For the long term, I want, I want to improve Chine, uh, Chinese students' living and learning quality and decrease the suicide rate among teenagers. And if this uh, plan is successful in the target school, I will introduce the, the, the method and experience to other Chinese high schools to help them with the mental health aspect. This is a uh, overview of my five-year plan. I will explain it like in details. So the first year is this year. I did my background research and I got help from the uh, global um, leadership uh, diploma course and also I set my five-year plan. So the second year starts with my uh, with this summer. When I go back to China, I will make connection with the target school which is called the Zhengzhou Foreign Language School. I chose this school for many reasons. First, because I was studying there for the middle school. I know many faculties who can help me with uh, going along my, uh, with my project. Secondly, because it's one of the best high schools in that province. So they emphasize a lot about the study of English, which I think is uh, their motive to be partner with me because they can practice their students' English and also get the mental health uh, uh, knowledge from me and my project. So Henan is where my uh, hometown is. It's in the central part of China, but it also has the largest permanent residence uh, population in, the, uh, in China. 
So the competition there is more severe than uh, other part of China. And then I will make the connection with my uh, related organization. It's called Center for Global Mental Health. It's located in London, which is my university will be. Next year, I will attend uh, University College London. So it's easier for me to make connections and to talk to them face to face. So there, I found their mission is very similar to what I want to do in China. It's to close the treatment gap for people living with a mental disorder in the low resources setting. And also one of their projects really interests to me because that's uh, transforming mental health for young people in India. As many of, people, uh, many of you know, the India has a similar problem like China. They have a large population, and their students uh, have a uh, lot of pressures uh, on them. So their project is in India to help the, the young people. So when I, talk to, when I make connection with this uh, organization, I want to learn from what they done in India and introduce to Chinese high schools. Uh, so the third year, uh, I will. Uh, I already introduced. I will gonna study. Uh, I gonna study the program called Psychology with Education, which is very very relevant with my project. And in uh, on the third year, we will have a research project. This is a huge part of the third year base. So I will have lots of uh, time to do it. And also, I will get lots of help from the professors in this area. So I will try to bring my uh, global action plan to this research project. And also, my peers uh, in this uh, program also, uh, will be the people who are also interested in psychology and educational part. So I will ask them for help, and we can team up to start a, a club in university, and also to open a website or official account on the social media to regularly post some articles about uh, mental health knowledge and also the, the method of releasing pressures. I found like a successful exemplar for for the website, but it's totally it's all in Mandarin, so most of you may do not understand <laughs> except Mr. Chen. <laughs> but I can explain to you. It's a bunch of articles about how to prevent the mental illness, how to set like be a, in a good mood to be productive in studying, and also very importantly, it has a hotline service for free to get a psychological aid or if you need a person to talk to if you get so stressful. And they have a really great outcome. In the last year, they prevent 120 suicides in the high school students. So that made me think I need to make direct connections with my target school and the target uh, student group. So if I have a website or official account, I can just they can leave message to me or they can just contact me through the web platform so we can have the connect, uh, communication. But like from just if the help only from myself is very small. But so I want to introduce the uh, psychological uh, counseling method to their teachers, parents, and even themselves, so they can help uh, help their help the people around them, not just connecting to me or my teammate, teammates in the project. So, because what I learned is the psycho uh, psychology with education, so I will be learning uh, some method of uh, how to improve the uh, studying quality, and also on the psychological part, I can I will learn how to uh, psychological uh, counseling with each other. So I will teach them to the Chinese faculties. Uh, the Chinese faculties and teachers, they already know the issue for a long time. They even know it like, clearly than me. So they know like, they have a very high suicide rate. But like, the way they prevent it is not very scientific or very effective. They will put the anti-suicide barrier on the school building to prevent students jump off from the building. But like I think the way like if you just 
stop them from jumping out from this building is not enough because they can jump from the other buildings. <laughs> so if you need to like talk to them, know their problem and help them release the pressure. I think that's the basic and the most important thing for them to do. But like in the process of achieving my goal and completing my uh, global action plan, there are lots of challenges that I need to overcome. First, the uh, re restriction on the foreign website is uh, like a big problem because if I want to open a website from uh, learn, uh, from UK or Canada, uh, the Chinese students may not have the access to it. Secondly, because their busy schedule, they may not have, they will have limited time and access to their phones and electronic devices. So that's why I need to maybe uh, have a workshop in their school to talk to them face to face, not just from the web based uh, like communication. And also the Chinese people are preferring to talk to them face to face, not uh, by email and or like, uh, like uh, talk on phones or that etc. So that's why all the communication work I need to do when I, uh, when I come come to China this summer. So talk with uh, uh, Target School and also with the organization I found uh, like in Shanghai. So yeah, that's my global action plan. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? Nancy, thank you very mm -hmm. much for that. Yes, well, I'll ask you a few questions. Okay. I can start again. Sure. <laughs> uh, first of all, I thought you did such a great job in explaining the problem, mm -hmm. defining why we should care about this and why this matters. Um, you had a lot of really good supporting evidence, and your explanation was very clear. Um, it's such a huge undertaking. What do you think will be the most challenging of everything in order to achieve this, do you think? Uh, I think the most important or to overcome this issue is mm -hmm. to get support from uh, the public and even the government. Mm -hmm. Because like, if the government did not do the reforms to uh, release the, some pressures from the examination, mm -hmm. the pressure will still be on students. Even though you teach them how to release the pressure, they still have a lot of pressures to do. So I think the most uh, the important is to let the public and the government know how the things uh, like going uh, in a wrong direction right now, and they can fix it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ms. Nancy, Decker. I was wondering about when you were starting your research, if mm -hmm. you kind of came across um, Applebee's Chinese students who were experiencing sort of similar pressures, and maybe did you speak to Applebee's students and what kind of perspectives you got from them, and what they experienced even being international students, do they still feel those pressures? Yes, I talked to like many of the Chinese students, like international students in Applebee, and also like talked to the club leader from the Chinese social media club, and yeah, uh, the Chinese, uh, the international students in Appleby, they are most likely to come from a wealthy family, so they are not like really studying in a public school and competing with a bunch of students. They are more focusing on improving their skills and also their knowledge, not just like get a good grade on the exam. And also like many of the students told me uh, that why their parents send them to study in Appleby or study in Canada because of the strict and the pressure uh, educational system in China. So they have a similar reason as me to studying in Applebee. Uh, Nancy, one of the things that you probably have seen is that we've been spending a lot of time at Applebee and across Canada focusing on letting people know it's okay to talk about mental health mm -hmm. and that mental health is an illness yeah. and reducing the stigma around it. What, from your perspective, um, is that a big problem uh, in, in China in terms of the stigma around mental health and people being afraid to talk about it? And uh, that's a whole big challenge in and of itself. So if it is that yeah. way, what, what are your thoughts around how to approach that aspect of it? 
Yes, in China the stigma is like very like very big because the Chinese people don't think the mental illness even exists. They think that's the excuse you are not working, you are not studying, you just find like like it's the because the mental illness is now cannot really showing on physically. So you just talk yourself, oh, I'm so so get so much pressure, but like nobody else can really examine you if you say it if it's true or not. So like in the in the province, Henan province, I don't even know there's a, a psychologic doctor so they can talk to this. But I think the stigma is going to be uh, reduced by uh, more more people do it like me doing the project to raise awareness of the mental health. And also I was trying to build a partnership between the Chinese like Chinese social media club in Appleby with the, my target school because I know in Appleby we have lots of the activities around mental health, the mental health week and also we have uh, uh, the mental health club I think. So we can introduce like our activities and also our research about mental health to that school maybe they can like learn it as a English practice listening test or something but like at least it uh, like works for them mm -hmm. Thank you. Nancy you've spoken about challenges to come challenges in applying a global yeah. action plan can you tell us a little bit of the challenges you've overcome this year as you've been trying to complete your global action plan first year what have been some of the more difficult parts of the process and what success have you found? Mm -hmm. I will start with success because okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I really appreciate I have the opportunity to attend this course and also to do this bunch of research. That's really helped me to get offer from my like the yeah because I put like the whole uh, research and what I done in the GLD this year in my personal statement for the UK universities and they like offer me like they like they said they were really imp uh, impressive with what I've done here and they would like to offer me a place for my future study and explore in this area so I think without this project I won't like even get this great opportunity in the future but secondly I think uh, first like it's a what I overcome the, the challenge is to find like what I want to do for the, my global action plan. I have a few ideas before I came to this course, but like, like I decided to do this because it so, has so close connection with myself and also with what I would like to do for my future career. And other challenges, let me think. <laughs> oh, I, I have a challenge with contacting with the target school. As you know, like I talked to you, uh, like I sent a bunch of emails, but like there's no school response to uh, respond my emails because I found out like the Chinese schools, the teachers are focusing on improving students' grades, but not like contacting with like like foreign schools, not like with other schools. So like that's kind of a um, challenge for me. But like I contact my teachers from middle school to help me contact with the faculties who are maybe responsible for club activities and also the mental health aspect. So that's why I can contact with my the target school. So that's a, a big challenge overcome. I overcome this year. That shows some great determination. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Yeah.